Hey guys, Ghost here, and welcome back to Scarlet Hollow. This is part two, and I'm excited to get into it because it's starting to get really good. So let's jump into it. It's a bit of a bummer. We should talk about something more fun, like skunk apes. Are you really expecting to find anything? What are the chances we actually run into a skunk ape? Is that this one night of filming? That's fair. We are hunting a creature that stayed hidden from humans long enough to gain a mythical reputation. Why are the odds of something like that popping out of the star in my little YouTube channel? But hey, chances are never zero, right? How things that aren't cryptids like ghosts and whatnot? Ghosts, demons, werewolves, that sort of thing? Yeah, for sure. I used to go all, uh, go after all sorts of spooky stuff. Never had much luck though, especially when it came to ghosts. Back when I first started doing solo videos, I'd go to all sorts of old abandoned buildings hoping to stumble across some sort of activity, but nothing ever happened, so it was just me and my camera in an old house getting worked up over a gust of wind or a creaky floorboard. When it's all said and done, I'd have been a lot luckier with cryptids. I won't believe in ghosts so bad. I want to believe in ghosts so bad. I can't roll out the possibility they really are true huntings out there, but if they are, I'm sure as heck haven't seen one of you myself. Werewolves I kind of lump in with cryptids. I'd be shocked if there actually were people out there who turned into animals, but werewolves lore lines up pretty well with the great beast genre of cryptids. As for demons, I don't know. I honestly don't ever want to consider the possibility that they exist. Because they really are there. Jeez, a lot of folks are doomed to an eternity of flames. So let's hope that all of that is just bunk. Am I right? What about aliens? Don't even get me started. Did you see the UFO videos on the government disclassified? Aliens are definitely real and they have absolutely visited Earth. Like, I believe in aliens way more than I believe in cryptids. Don't use... You don't see me hunting aliens out here because, you know, they're real. Mystical. There are things beyond our realm, but I wouldn't call them aliens. Oh, why does Gretchen look so upset? No, Gretchen, it's okay. Everything that exists in the universe is kept from the same cloth, one of way or another. You call something an alien to imply that it's something else, something that doesn't belong. Whoa! <laughs> you gotta meet my friend Kanika's mom. You two would get along. What's the weirdest thing you've seen in these woods? Other than anything cryptid related, of course. Oh gosh, that's a good one. Let me think. Well, there was this always a deer I saw stealing baby birds out of the nest and eating them. That was pretty messed up. I think the most people know about these days, I've seen a ton of video of other deers doing it, so I'm not sure if it counts as weird anymore. Oh, Tinnitus Lake. Tantanius Lake? That's definitely the weirdest. It was 5 foot deep, 30 foot wide pile of old cans and bottles and assorted garbage with grass and trees growing on it. You could barely tell what it was until you stepped on it. It's practically solid ground with how much has been compressed, but you still could fall through if you weren't careful, hence the name. Better be up on your shots if you want to mess around in there. Oh, it is tetanus, like. There's all stuff from 50s, too, which was super neat. I salvaged a few bottles that I kept on my dresser as a little souvenir. Anything bad happen? You know, just curious. Hmm, let me think. There was a time back in early high school where Reese fell, off, fell down a cliff. But he was fine. He had some folks from town rig up a pulley to get him out of the ravine. His log only took a couple months to heal. All, all in all, it's not too bad. So I guess there was also that time I was out here alone and kind of got stuck into a cave. I was getting great footage of what I thought was a family of wampus cats, but I wasn't able to wiggle my way back out. Turns out the wampus cats were actually skunks who had very much did not appreciate me blocking the entrance to their hidey hole. And instead of running for help, Gresham just sat outside bored to tears. Lassie, he is not. It only took about an hour to get loose, which was pretty intense for a, but a few tomato juice baths later and I was right as rain. But it could have been a lot worse. Oh, and there was a time I accidentally stumbled onto an old Duke's property and nearly got my head shot off. But that happens to everybody sooner or later. I'd barely count it. So, yeah, these hikes aren't all that dangerous, all things considered. Did you hear that? Oh, calm down, Gresham, you old mutt. Same to you, Stella. You're always jumping at nothing, girl. Phew. Sorry for being jumpy, Duke. I thought you were... Some creature of darkness? Nah, girly. This old dupe. Now what the hell are you looking for way out here? Gunk ape. <laughs> Sorry, I asked. So who's this you sucker to coming with you? Wait a tick. You aren't. Is that? Yep. Welcome to Holler. It won't stay on. 
mischief. My condolences. says, I'll keep you in my prayers. Now, both of you, y'all head back to town, you hear? It's best you see clear of this area tonight. I'm not dealing with my own critter. It might be too appreciated if a couple fools with the camera scare away the most wildlife. What are you hunting tonight? Something tall and hairy. Something musky? You seen anything like that recently? When do you like to know? You never could stay in your business, Stella Richmond. Put the damn camera down. Come on, Duke. Maybe I could help you out. I'm pretty good at tracking, you know. I learned from the best. That you did, but I have yet to see a shred of proof that you listened to any of it. The way you tromp around the woods at night yelling about Chunkabungus or, or whatever you've done. Those things have been getting out my chickens. I lost three this week and I can't afford to, lo to lose many more than that. So sorry to hear that. But uh, I wonder if Skunk Cape has a taste for chicken. Now, let's see. This is why I don't come to you about these things. Ain't no Skunk Cape, whatever the hell that is. I know exactly what it is, but I know you won't believe me if I tell you. Oh, Duke, you don't think it's... I do, actually. It's those damn mountain lions. They're out there, Stellas. I don't care what your little investigation turned up. You haven't been out in these woods as long as I have. Those son of a bitches are sneaky, of course. You want to find one at night of tracking, and I know for a fact that that's what be getting out my chickens. It couldn't be anything else. I'm telling you, man, mountain lions are extinct in these parts. There hasn't been an actual sighting since the 1990s. Even those were iffy. I can't believe you go out there on your YouTube is saying you're some river monster spot by a couple of school age boy scouts that have been 100% confirmed yet. Appalachia cougars are some kind of far-fetched fantasy made up by geezers like me. You made me look like a fool. I read those comments people were posting on your video. They are calling me all kinds of names just for seeing things out of my own eyes that I know to be true. I'm sorry, Duke. I didn't mean to sick anybody on you. I just don't think it's plausible. You read those words when I come carrying a mountain lion corpse out of the woods at dawn. If you don't want a face full of buckshot, I suggest you run home and stay out of the woods tonight. I don't think this ends well for you. How would you know? I go hunting in these woods all the time. Night, day, opossum, bears, it doesn't make a difference. Even a mountain lion wouldn't stand against the ingenuity of man here. Unless it's not a mountain lion. Alright, don't get started with... Again, if your daddy can hear you now going on about ghouls and goblins using what he taught you to run around these woods like some god is some kind of paranormal investigator. Do you what do you want that to be his legacy girl? And besides, you know my boy Bo and me are headed down to the state fair to show off the big Betty this week. We'll be gone days and the chicken coop might as well be a big all you can eat sign on it if you don't nip this in the bud tonight. You know how I felt about my chickens. I couldn't take it if I lost any more poor little ladies. You know I have to put my video out tomorrow evening. If I miss an update, I might lose my new sponsor. And who knows what that would mean for my career. Oh, one of us is going to die tonight. I can feel it. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? You aren't trying to threaten me. I don't know. It's just a weird feeling. I don't know, is this a weird feeling? Weird, bad feeling. Oh, are you psychic or something? My reply is no. <laughs> Ask again later. <laughs> oh, right, right. When you're a more private place, I get you. <laughs> oh, hush, both of you. Just trying to unsettle me, so I'll let y'all go off into the woods to film me a little video. Um, Ghost, I think you freaked Duke out enough for one evening. Maybe you should leave the poor man to his wild goose chase. I'm not freaked out by your friend's theoret theoretics. But if you get out of my hair, well, sure, I'm getting disturbed. I'm running along home and stay out of trouble. You and Settle return the trail. She carefully looks back the way you came. Okay, the coast is clear. There's no way we'll let Duke edge us out of that easy. Come on, I know the trail. He'll get us around him. Yes, I knew you wouldn't give up on the hunt. Are you sure you don't want to you don't want to like watch a movie instead? No way, not with Duke and his shotgun out there waiting to blow our heads off. We aren't actually headed back to town. We weren't going back to town. But what about Duke? I don't know how comfortable I'll be tromping through the woods knowing there's someone with a shotgun out here ready to blow my head off. Oh, you don't have to worry about old Duke. He's been out tracking him with him before. The man sounds like a track, a track crashing through the trees when he walks. If we do cross paths, we'll hear him long before he catches wind of us. There's no shaking you, is there? Oh, fine. There's no shaking you, is there? 
You just follow me until I finally relent and go monster hunting with you. I promise it will be fun and safe. The trail's just up this way. Let's go. Alright, this looks like a good shot. Mind holding the camera? The hands do the camera and takes position. Ahem. <laughs> As night falls, my new assistant, the mysterious ghost, and then I find ourselves on a high hill in the Blue Ridge Mountains, where we'll all begin our hunt for the elusive yet pungent skunk ape. They're mostly encountered in Florida. This possible relative of Bigfoot has been spotted all along the southeastern edge of the United States, including right in this very county. Here's hoping we get a glimpse tonight. We'll check back once we're on the trail. Until then, stay searching, Stellars. I can't take that camera off your hands for now. We'll be able to start the tracking and see the sun sets all the way. In the meantime, we can get to take in all the beautiful scenery. It's scourges I hear, don't you think? Not a fan of bugs. I want to go with mystical again. There's something wrong here. Feel it. Impressive. Dark. Hmm. You don't mean stinky, do you? Do you think you're smelling the skunk ape? No, no, something metaphorically oppressive and dark. Oh, no, no, something metaphorically oppressive and dark. Dang, I thought we might have stumbled across this trail. Oh, well, I shouldn't worry too much. If, we, if I were you, my gut usually warns me if I'm going to run into trouble, and I feel okay. The quiet moment was still, I was broken by a loud, aggressive snort. Is Duke back with his shotgun? Run! <laughs> Death has come for me at last. Goodbye, cruel world. What was that? Huh, no need to panic. This is a sound deer make when they want to run the rest of their herd about a big scary predator like us. Let's check it out. You used to hear the footfalls of animals retreating into the woods. She reaches for her flashlight. A single deer remains behind us, staring down the light as Stella's flashlight while Gretchen winds and pulls out her harness. What is wrong with that deer's face? Oh, this sound is me. Oh, bye. And then it's gone. Please, Gretchen, calm down. You're gonna hurt yourself. She cannot handle deer. If she gets like this, I usually have to pick her up and hold her. She had a bad habit of sleeping her harness when she wants to go out there or something. You too much of a potato, and they don't make harnesses to fit potatoes, do they? There was something wrong with that deer. You see his face? Now that you mention it, there was something a little off. I bet it was an abscess, maybe a tumor? It's not like wild animal can take care of those, so this is get bigger and bigger. Poor thing. There's not much we can do about it. Why do you bring Gretchen out here with you? She doesn't seem like the safest choice for a hacking companion. I actually find her to be quite the opposite. Sure, she wants to chase stuff. I usually let her... When I'm not one of my own cryptid hunts, and so I can't hold her against her. I'm just happy she's so, still so feisty even at her age. Folks aren't exactly known for the good help, but here she is running around the woods at 17. I feel like a fresh mountain air and exercise would have a, a lot in that regard. You defy the laws of nature, don't you, Gretchen? He's on cue. <laughs> what? That got my heart rate up. I'm ready for the hunt. Same for me. How about we take a quick sneak, a snack break to fuel up, then we get right into the night activities. I got all the best trail snacks. We set out on a rest, Stella breaks up her bag of assorted snacks. Extra imminent. Take snack bar right up across the sesame stick. Now I want the trail mix. You grab the trail mix. Classic choice, if it never fails to satisfy. I like the mix my own to make sure it has the best stuff. These dried cherries instead of raisins. Maybe it's a bit of a controversial pick, but even as someone who's passionate about dried fruit, I simply cannot abide raisins. Finally, someone who gets it. Raisins are glorified mouse droppings. They destroy everything they touch. Definitely. Another dried fruit is better. Glad to find me a fellow preserved fruit connoisseur who can appreciate my refined taste in trail mix. You and Stella set it on up and overlook. Snacks in hand and the quiet sounds of evening wildlife wash over you. So tell me. What is it like in Casper? Do you have a house? An apartment? Do you live with family? Roommates? Pets? Tell me what you like to be, ghost. 
what it's like to be a ghost. I live in alone in a dingy studio apartment. I live in a in a closet in a house with ten roommates. I live in a doorless basement that floods whenever it rains. I live in an apartment with a difficult roommate. I live in a twelve by twelve shed in someone's yard. I live in an internet cafe. I rather not say shrug and remain silent. Hmm. A closet and a house. Dingy studio apartment. I live alone in a dingy studio apartment. And it's a mixed bag. I love it. The little cramped the light flickers. The toilet is constantly getting backed up because the landlady upstairs keeps flushing her cat litter. It smells like cigarettes for some reason, but it's mine. I mean, technically, I guess it's the landlady's, but I don't have to share it with anybody. It's a mess, but it's my mess. I won't have it any other way. You know, that's a great way to look at things. I can't imagine what it'd be like to share your place with people you don't know. Speaking of, it's gotta be a while listening with Tabby for both of you. So what do you do for a living? I, I build a pragmatic, programmatic ads for a company nobody ever heard of. I sell arts and crafts on Etsy. I'm a first year associate at a big law firm. I'm a streamer. I'm a student. I'm a teacher. I'm the service industry. I rather not say remain silent. I'm gonna say I'm a streamer. I'm actually a streamer. Oh no way, a fellow content creator. That's awesome. I knew I had a lot in common with ghosts. Uh, what sort of streams do you do? Play music, must you talk to people, do art, I play video games. That's cool. I think Reese does games too, but he's pretty cagey about sharing his stuff. I'll have to check out your channel sometime this week. How do you like it? I wouldn't trade it for the world. Most people I meet tend to raise their eyebrows when I tell them what I do, but I love it. it might not be much, but it makes me feel like I'm taking control of my own destiny. Believe me, I can relate. I don't think I'd give up for anything. Chris Breeze passes over you. What about you? What's your living situation? Chris and I live in a little house that's outside town. That's just the house I grew up in, so it has a lot of pleasant memories attached to it, and I'm glad I could keep it in the family. A great great uh, grandfather built that house. He must have done a great job because it's just as sturdy as it's ever been. Pretty smart. I gather your parents aren't exactly around anymore. Yep, you got it. They died a few years back, but it's okay. I've done my morning. Life goes on and we still get to live our beautiful family home. Just me and Gretchen. Could have been a lot worse. My mom died pretty recently, so I get it. It's alright if you don't need to talk about things. Aw, oh, thanks Gus. That's really sweet of you. How are you holding up? Um, I'm okay with hanging in there. It was a long time coming. It wasn't a surprise. I've kind of come to terms with it by the time it actually happened. And it's not all bad. She doesn't have to be in pain anymore. That's a relief. The hospital boys are another story, though. Yeesh, I can imagine how bad that must be. It's just assault in the wound at that point. Whoa. Dali immediately packs her bags and slings it over her shoulder. Dali immediately, uh... More deer? Please tell me that was a raccoon. That wasn't a sound meant for human ears. If I made it, it's close. Here, hold Gresham's leaf for me and let's check this out. You and Stella inch towards the tree lines as she shines her flashlight into the brush. As you approach her series, a weak clucks call out for a nearby bush. Maybe Duke's birds weren't, eat weren't eating after all. One of the chickens? What What the hell was that? Hold on, I gotta play that back. Holy shit. I guess it must be maybe two, three feet tall. It doesn't look carry either, so I think we can roll out Skunk Ape. But what if it is? It has one of Duke's chickens. It looks like it's headed north. Let's go after it. I was on board with the whole thing, but now that I found something. I was on board with the whole cryptid hunting thing, but when I thought it would be just a spooky jaunt in the woods, I never thought I'd actually like find something. Now's not the nine time to hesitate. If we're catching this thing, we gotta go now. Stella sprints into the woods in pursuit, leaving you no choice but run after her. Gretchen excitedly pulling you along by her leash. Oh god. Oh! Stella! Oof. <laughs> oh no, the gun! <laughs> oh god, the monster got you. We're gonna die out here. Do you trip? Seems kind of a hard mountain girl. I thought we were used to the uneven terrain at night. Ha, huh, well we all have our bad days, I'm pretty pr pretty careful. Yes, we gotta look excited, stopped watching where I was stepping, plus there was something slippery on the chair. Oh no, the poor thing, it must have been one of the dukes. Oh Jesus, it's still alive. Don't go near that. Jesus, Stella, don't go near that, that thing is diseased. 
Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna touch it. That was my hands, at least. Oh, hey, I'm sorry that this is turning out to be grisly. I swear that's not normally like this. We can go home after I film this if you want. Don't worry about me. Keep going. Don't worry about me. I can keep going. Ha! Ah, good to hear. Let's film this and continue the hunt. <clears throat> it seems like we found one of Duke's chickens, folks, and she's not looking good. I'm hesitant to speculate, but she definitely seems to have some sort of growth underneath her skin. Could it be a tumor? Could it be something else? Either way, I don't think there's much that can be done for her at this point. Jeez, I'm going to have to put some massive content warnings for this video. Hey, do you hear that? What in the Sam Hill are you two doing out here? Didn't I tell you to? B Birdie? Oh, Birdie, what's wrong, darling? Good God. Do you see what did this to her? Duke, Duke, we're on the same team here. We both want to know what happened to Birdie as much as you, you do right now. So look, we'll get to the bottom of this, I promise. So we're on the trail when we found her like this. But if did this, I think we can hear them in the trees. But they can't. Put that camera away for God's sake, girl. I don't want to be in one of your videos. No one needs to see me like this. No one sees Birdie like this. You want to put her online, would you? Not when she's like this, all swollen and hurting. Dude, did you hear me? I think they're coming closer. Excuse me? I don't like it. Come out, you son of a bitches. Dude, don't shoot them. We have no idea what will happen. You hear that sound, the sound of something peace like? Whatever these things are, they'll pay for what they've done to my girls. I like it. Come on, whatever your name is. Grab that flashlight and help me line up a good shot. As the creature in the tra tree line grows louder and more numerous, Gretchen brightly strains against her harness. Oh no. Oh no. Fuck you, Duke. I'm going Gretchen. Get for it and scoop Gretchen into her arms just before she manages to wiggle out of her harness. Oh! Oh, what is that? Damn. Put a finger in your mouth. What is that? God damn it! <gasps> you hear body hit the ground. And cry as the chaos fades as the sound of nature creeps. Gretchen? Ghost? Duke? Are you alright? Just a little shaken up. Same. Gretchen whines and shakes in your arms. Gretchen, here, I'll take her. My poor little butt. Thanks for watching out for her. The Duke, are you okay? Oh my god, oh my god, Duke, holy shit, what do we do now? What the hell are we supposed to do? What do you mean, what do we do now? Duke had a hunting accident by himself in the woods, that's it. Are you serious? We have footage of exactly what happened here. Sure, it's a little dark and shaky, but you can make out the, th the thing coming out of the woods. We can take it to the police. Duke's family deserves, deserves closure. Other people deserve to know what's out here. Ooh. It's going to be a lot harder for them to believe what really happened than to decide that the stranger from the big city came into town and shot someone. It'd be too easy for them to pin this on me. You're right, this whole thing is hard to believe. We need more footage, come on, let's go after them before we lose our chance. Is this a good idea, Stella? Nope! And maybe we shouldn't do this? A man's dead. Yeah, you're right, let's head back to town and regroup. What the f are these things? As you and Stella quickly make your way back through the woods, an unearthly whisper as a creature is unknown once again surround you. Oh god, they're back. I don't know, we just have to keep pushing forward. I'm almost there. You instead of re reaching the main road and whispers way back into the sound of nature. It sounds like they stopped following us. Are you sure we shouldn't call the cops? Call away. I think that we're at, about that here. I should get reception now that we're back on the main road. Let me find my phone so I can call the sheriff. You feel the buzz in your pocket. 
Six missed calls from Tabitha and 13 text messages. Uh, Tara, text her that you're okay. That was a move long at my phone. I guess she must have been worried about you. But uh, first things first, let's call the police. Stella pulls out her phone and dials. Hello? Earl? Is, is Stella Richmond up in the mountains on the Agzina Trail? Duke is dead, Earl. Shotgun, it happened right in front of us. There's something something in the woods. You gotta hurry. Okay, okay, yeah. Are they really gone? Yeah, I think we're okay, but hurry. Jesus, Earl, who's gonna tell Bo? I guess we now we wait. They better not pin this on me. It's a little while, but eventually a patrol call arrives at the scene. Out for a walk, two sheriffs. We have Hug Hugby and a fairly older man, Deputy Franklin. A serious man wearing sunglasses despite it being in the middle of the night. See, right there, a thing jumps out of the woods and then the shotgun goes off. What in Sam Hill? What is that kind of some kind of Pillsbury Doughboy? Could have been a naked maniac. No, no, there's more than one. They chased us to the woods, whatever they are. They aren't human. And they killed Duke. Uh, uh-huh. Now we're gonna have to confiscate that camera, Miss Richmond, if you don't mind. This is evidence. But, I... Okay. Just let me turn it off to save the battery. Tree smart. Sally gives it in the request suspiciously easily. Here you go, Deputy Franklin. We appreciate your compliance with the law. We'll get a team out in the morning to treat the body, but for now, Sheriff Huggabee and I... Please call me Earl. Earl and I will escort you in. Who are you exactly? That's Ghost. He came into town today for the funeral. Ghost as in... Being silent. You say nothing. You have to be a part of my surprise. We doesn't only think you'd show. We'll escort you back to town. If that, if they're a naked maniac on the loose, it's best that you don't walk back on your own. It wasn't a... a never mind. Why aren't you going out there tonight? There's a dead body in the woods. Those things are out there could attack someone else. Well, it ain't exactly like old Duke is going anywhere at this point. He'll still be out there in the morning. We only have a skeleton crew at the moment. Monday nights are Deputy Derrickson's bowling nights. We'll be on alert for any more reports of a naked maniac, but retrieving Duke would just have to wait. If you kindly step into the vehicle, we can return you safely to your home. Dallas sighs. Okay, thank you. You can ride up front with me, little Libby. That's it. If your mama permits. <laughs> sure, Earl. You can aggression on the way back to town. Sorry! I was gonna save Gretchen. Gretchen is my baby. I at her. Look at that baby. Dude, he old. He had his time has came and gone. It's okay. Now he can be with his chickens. You two stay out of trouble. We we'll have all this sorted out in the morning. Just go get a good night's sleep. And you, whatever your name was, IP freely. <laughs> Ghost. Sure, you're in time for the funeral? Good. Don't you go leaving before then. I imagine we need to ask you a few questions about everything you've seen tonight. Stella, keep an eye on him for us. Make sure he doesn't go into any more trouble. You have the good night now. Bye bye, Gretchy. And you all have a lovely evening. If any bugaboos give you trouble, you know how to get in touch. Bugaboos. Here you are, back in town, away from the woods with no one but Stella in sight. They seemed a little bloss about things. You want to buy it? It's about a I man. I can't believe they're waiting until morning to even start looking for him. Who knows what those things are doing to his body right now? And what's worse is I think they implied that you're a suspect even after you showed them all that footage. The shoots will get out. Tries to get comfortable. They have to pin on somebody. They're cops. It's their whole job to pin on somebody. So of course they'd pick out the out of towner. Here's hoping the footage clears my name. I told you we shouldn't trust the cops. Yeah, no kidding. But it's okay. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. I was there. I filmed the whole thing. At very least, they'll never hold up in court. And you won't get to that point either because we're going to do a little investigating of our own. We've got to find out more about those things if you can get a clear footage. Or better yet, trap one of them. There's no way they can blame you for what happened. The library doesn't open for a while, but I've read every book on cryptos they have and never came across anything like this. Hmm. There is someone in town who might have some useful information. The race isn't far, we should head over there before it gets any later. Let's keep the nightmare going. You're alright, pal? Seems like I'm be losing it a little. All the more reason to visit my friend's mom. I'll always leave her place feeling louder. Come on, she's just down this way. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be upset. What the hell? 
The general store. This must be where Stella's friend Kanika lives. Oh, she's still awake. Jesus. Can I help you? Itch. <laughs> you and Stella turn to see a shadowy figure staring at you from across the road. You didn't hear it approach. Whatever this is, the presence has chewed you to your soul. Before you can respond, the door behind you opens. A middle aged woman stands in the entrance. Go home, Wayne. I can't help you tonight. Look back, and the figure is already gone, disappeared into the shadows of the night. I'm sorry about this, Stella. Some people just can't be helped. What brings you right here so late? Who is this? Hi, Mrs. Forsyth. This is Ghost. Is it okay if we come in? You and Mrs. Forsyth briefly lock eyes, so blending and overpowering is her aura. That's just looking at her feels like staring directly into the sun. Her gaze pierces entirely through you, and the moment you feel wholly unknown. Then the moment passes. The only a middle-aged woman for you. Of course, of course, you're in luck. I'll just put the water on for hibiscus tea. For goodness sake, you can call me by, uh, call me Sylvie. You're an adult now, after all. Welcome to my little nook. She's so cute. Keep her safe. My favorites now. Boom and boom. Boom and boom. <sighs> nice to finally meet you, ghost. I was I'm so sorry to hear about your mother. Vivian was such a lovely soul. She's been sorely missed and holler. Now poor per Perlina on as well. Do let me know if there's anything you need while you're in town. Who was that outside? Just a very sick man. You don't need to worry about him. That's a ghost. I didn't know my mom died. Oh, Pearlene was a chatty woman. Not much went on in that. I wouldn't get an earful of bless her heart. Never met Pearlene. You don't have to pass on your cuddle system to me. I have no feelings about the woman. That's fair, child, but it seems like the right thing to do. Regardless, I am sorry about your mother. We were good friends for many years, you know. You should come by sometime. I can delight you with the unsavory tales of her youth. Need your help. Ah, oh, yes, I suppose pleasant trees can wait for another time. What got you here so late? You seem troubled. You know about the weird stuff, right? Unexplainable stuff? I'm not sure I follow, dear. And I wish oils to use which aches. I know a, a bit about Costco spiritualism. Just what kind of sort of explainable things are you talking about? Duke was killed tonight by something in the woods. Oh my lord. Have you contacted the police? Yes, and they didn't make it- they didn't take it very seriously. They're not even looking for the body into tomorrow. Those things out there, I don't even know how to describe them. Mm, I can't say I know much about the local wildlife. My daughter has always had a brighter gift for nature than I. This wasn't- this wasn't the local wildlife, Miss Forsyth. Here, I can show you. Stella pours out the memory card from her sleeve and pops into her phone. She must have been why she was quick to hand over her camera. I wasn't just supposed to let the police hold on to this. At least, not before we had the chance to make a copy. Smooth. The cops are gonna be mad when they found out about you keeping that. Only to figure it out, I kept it on purpose. Don't worry, I can play dumb when I have to. As far as I know, it was this honest accident. Where was this? Up the mountains to the northwest, within the within the town limits. Yes, I see. Is there a way to make the video bigger and louder if you can. I need to plug the memory card into a computer. I can go back and get my. Andy Kaniko should have should still be awake. She can let us hear it. You'd be able to come with us, tell us. I'm sure she'd be willing to help a friend than her nosy mother. Kanika, come out. We could use a little help. What, mom? Oh. Oh, hey, Stella. Gretchen, who's a good potato? And a stranger. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? Hi, I'm Ghost. Tabitha's cousin. Yep. Sweetie, we were wondering if you could borrow your laptop. So long in front, I have a video to show us. It's really important, Kanika. Our room's a mess. I'll just bring it out there. Me. Me when people want to come over to my house. Heads up, Kanika. This is graphic. Duke got killed out in the woods tonight, and it's on the recording. 
Wait, are you serious? Duke's dead? We can't watch this without you. I know I've had a harder stomach than any of our friends on passing play. Diana's watched yourself the room as the video plays. Bella? What the hell is this? Pillsbury Doughboy. I'm sorry either you had to see this, but Ghost and I have no idea how to make our heads and tails of it. Bella, are you okay? Did you get hurt? I'm fine. Billy, I'm okay. Well, I'm not fine. <laughs> I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. Those are three look at you unsure what to say. Poor Duke. Poor Bo. Has anyone told him yet? To talk to the police, I hope they told Bo, but Earl and Deputy Franklin didn't seem to be much in a hurry to do anything. I'll call him later tonight. For now, we have something far more serious to discuss. Happened in the woods. We weren't supposed to see any of that. You're not wrong. These things, my grandmother called them the ditchlings. They're a terrible omen. A sign of great suffering and destruction to come. Mom, come on. What are you doing? This is serious. Stop scaring cell line ghosts with these tel telpo crap. A man just died. Have some respect. Inika, sweetie. Let your mother talk. The creatures themselves are harmless to people. Quite the grizzly scene in the woods. How can you say that? Duke is dead. Unfortunate accident and nothing more. Just as the boards flock before a storm, the ditchlings congregate where tragedy is soon to fall. The sea one is to be cursed by fate. Jesus, Mom. They've clearly had a rough night. They don't need the. It's okay, Kanika. This is helpful. Still, whatever these things are, they aren't magic. Can't wear that out. That's what we saw. But fine, let's focus on what we know. Whatever they are, they're doing something to these animals. You saw the chickens in our video. What was that growth? Maybe they were making more of themselves? Yeah, maybe they were seeing here some sort of like parasitic larvae stage, part of their life cycle. But I don't want to jump to any conclusions about something this out there. Not without doing some research and talking to a biologist. I'm sure there's a rational explanation that will clear all this up. Oh dear, I forgot entirely what the tea I put on. Let me fix you a couple of cups. It will soothe your nerves. I don't know, it's getting late. I should get, like, get, uh, go get some rest. I ran him ragged today with all the hiking and running through the woods in terror. <clears throat> Let's get this miserable night finally end. I'm tired of that shit. I can say I'm still worried from everything that happened. <laughs> okay, maybe it's that I'm eager to get home and start doing some research. I'll stick around for my usual forms to see if anyone has information on ditchlings. That way you call them. That's right, now go home now. Do try to get some rest. Don't stay up all night on the uh, online. Let me get some of my house house made peppermint tea to go. It really does wonder to soothe the soul. Bye Stella. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Call me if you need to talk. Thanks, Kanika. I'll see ya. Hi, ghost. An excellent iced or warm, though with the night getting chillier, warm will probably be your best. Hope it wakes up the bones. Be careful out there, both of you. They'll be turning to close the door behind her. Alrighty, let's head back home. My home, I mean. Here we are. Welcome to the night if you want. Hmm, this one, I'm terrified of seeing Tabitha. No, we need to go back to Tabitha. Check on Tabitha. I should probably go back and check on Tabitha. That's sweet of you. Are you sure you're okay heading up the mountain alone? I'm more terrified of uh, the things in the woods. Honestly, I'm more afraid of making Tabitha mad than I'm one of those things in the woods. <laughs> yeah, Tabby can really be intimidating. Well, I won't stop you if you really want to go back. Here's my number. Call me when you get there, okay? And good luck. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we're in this together. It's not like I have much of a choice. I don't, not much of a choice. Yeah, I guess not. We're in this together now. Stay safe, buddy. Bye, Christian. Bye. The good dog. You've been in the long hike back up to Scarlet Estate alone. Yeah. Almost home. Yeah. You made it. Your salvation insight, you make a mad dash to the door. By the door. As you reach for the door, not the door open. He doesn't look happy. Where the hell have you been? I texted you back. As soon as I had reception. 
Did you? I didn't notice. Did you know someone named Wayne? I have no idea what you're talking about. I watched a man die tonight. I went to the woods with the grandma to find some cryptids and it ended up with us watching a man die. Oh, so you met Stella then. Ugh, explains everything. She's gotten you all worked up. I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Can, can you tuck me in? Wait, are you serious? Tuck you in? No, go to sleep! You're alone at the state. The sound of wind whistling through the house gives you an uneasy feeling in your gut. It's probably the best to turn in and leave the night behind you. As you sat into your room, you remember that Stella asked you to call her once you got back. Call her. Pull out your phone and call. Hey, how, how are you? Did you make it back? Yeah, how how are you? Are you okay? Totally fine. I mean, as fine as I could be, I guess. You don't have to worry about me. Go get some Z's, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. And the relative safely of this uncomfortable bed, the events of the past evening seemed to like something ha that happened to someone else. Though you can still clearly picture the terror you felt in the moment. For now, you're safe and warm. Eventually, the sun will rise and chase away the monsters and make them seem like nothing but bad dreams. Maybe tomorrow, if you're lucky, you'll wake up in the normal world and have a boring week in the mountains with your soul-faced cousin. It's nice, though. But deep down, you can't help but worry about the things that only get worse. Let's end up episode one. Hi, hi, boss. The art is so freaking pretty. That's her friend that she was on the phone with. The ditchlings are freaking gross. Can I just say that? Alright, well. Alpaca! Or llama? Yes. No. I had pumpkin. Oh. Pumpkins? Hi. I love a big. Excuse me. Do you see the motherfucking shadow? Why does that door have so many locks on it? Jesus. It was so good. I'm mad that is this is the end of episode one. You can back the game on Kickstarter and get a discounted key for the rest of the game through the month of October. No. If you like to continue with the world state in episode two, please save you now. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. 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 It was so good. Can't wait for the second episode. And it said that the next episode is coming in mid 2021. So I am sure to back this on Kickstarter. Y'all should do it too if y'all really like this video because this game was amazing. Be sure to play it yourself. The first episode's free. You can find it on Game Joel. Itch.io and Steam, all for free. The first episode is free, but after that, they're going to start charging people. But if you liked this series and you want me to continue with episode two when it does come out, let me know by liking the video and subscribing and commenting what you think of the gross Pillsbury Doughboy ditchling things. But other than that, have a great day.